Hey guys, this is Deepak. Today I'm going to explain you one of the very interesting use case. We will have a two data frame and basically we have to derive a third data frame out of these two data frame. I will explain you this particular thing via PPT. So I have prepared a one PPT. So we, have, we will have a one data frame of sales data and another data frame of products data. And our end goal is uh, we have to keep the data of data frame one uh, in data frame three and uh, the columns of data frame two, which are not matching with data frame one. So we have to achieve this uh, bit uh, uh, with implementation of this uh, logic we have to our final goal is to achieve this part, uh, this this set of data so achieving this particular goal i have uh, i have uh, segregated uh, uh, task by so first step uh, step by so first step will be we have to create a data frame then second step we have to find out the list of defense column name which are not present in data frame one with the comparison of data frame two and final step add the difference column in the first data frame that is sales data frame so yeah uh, i think uh, the requirement is pretty clear so now we will uh, go to the IntelliJ. Uh, here i have created a boilerplate code uh, so i have created a spark session and uh, a schema for sales data that is valid file schema and uh, a schema for product data product price reference schema and uh, I have created a uh, sales sales data frame where actually we are keeping all the data sales related and uh, product uh, uh, product data frame product uh, price reference data frame which are uh, storing the data of product data. So uh, our first step was uh, we have to create a two data frame. So we have already created a two data frame. Now the second step is uh, we have to calculate the difference with re uh, with reference of data frame one. So I will just declare one variable missing uh, field field as collection because uh, the difference will store uh, as a collections okay so first we will use a product reference data frame then we'll use a schema function we will uh, then the field names function then two set so convert in this two set so this particular uh, piece of line i uh, will uh, list all the columns of product data then we have to uh, uh, retrieve the list of columns of sales data so sales data schema then uh, field names then two set so this particular line of code uh, will actually test out all the columns of sales data and difference function will calculate the difference so if we wanted uh, just i will show you um, the output of this particular very uh, collections so first we have to convert into the list then we will use a for each uh, print as you, as we know that uh, if we wanted to see the data from uh, the collection when we uh, then we have to use a uh, for each loop so i will run this uh, particular code yeah so uh, as we can see that these are the columns not present in the data frame one that is sales data so now uh, our second step is completed let's focus on the second step so add the difference column in the first so we have the difference column product name product price products and date and now we have to add this uh, columns in the in the data frame one so the output will become a data frame three <clears throat> so let's uh, consider final data frame as a then uh, the collection of missing field and uh, we will use a full lab function and uh, uh, initial as a we will pass sales data because we have to uh, keep adding all the columns in sales data and so uh, i will explain you the definition of uh, fold left how fold left is working first i will complete this particular code so initial will be sales data frame and then uh, this c means column fold left function will work as a uh, loop manner loop manner so first value will uh, uh, the first value of c uh, will be the uh, 
uh, element first element of the collection so if uh, product price will be the first value and the next station uh, product updated date will be the uh, second value c and the third so it it, it will continue uh, end of the collection till end of the collection we have we will just pass two parameters now uh, we have to mention the actions what actions we wanted to perform th this particular function so we are saying uh, in the sales data frame with column in each iteration add that particular column uh, in that data frame we are using lit so it will convert that particular uh, product price as a column and uh, fill fill with the value of blank so this is completed guys uh, i will explain how four left function work actually so i've created a one small snippet snippet over here so if we can say this is the definition of four left function this particular uh, circular bracket represent the initial if we wanted to pass and these two parameters uh, first is uh, equals to the initial value like if you uh, if we, uh, here we are passing z so the value of b we become z and a is the uh, first element of the collection so and this is the x uh, this is the output uh, so every uh, in function a four left function initially we are uh, sending a value as a blank and these are the two parameters m and n and we are doing the print ln m and then m plus one so this is this last line output of this last line will become the value of m in the next iteration so uh, let's run this particular code uh, then i will explain you see uh, we are we were sending a uh, null so uh, sorry not null it's a blank so the value of m will become blank and n will become the first element of the list so the output is m plus n so blank plus n is dollar a tuples of comma then a then the output of this particular m plus n will become the value of m in the next iteration so so the value of m is in the second iteration is m equals to a and n equals to the second element of the list uh, so it's a b so again uh, the value of m is a and the value of n is b so it's a b so you can see the value of m is a and the value of n is b so in the next iteration this output of this particular line is a b the, the same will pass in this particular function and n will be, become the third element uh, the value of third element so this will uh, end uh, when the list is complete so in the same manner we are passing sales data frame as an initial value and uh, c is just a first element of the collection like product price so uh, we have just mentioned that we have to add this particular first column so c is a first first element of the collection and the value a value of that uh, particular column filled with the blank in the first uh, in the sales dot df uh, in the first iteration uh, it will add the product price and the second iteration it will add the product updated uh, so it will keep appending the values so if i just print the value of final df dot so So now we can see that uh, first value was product price, so it was added to the data frame. So in the first first iteration, this was the data frame, and the second iteration, product updated date will be added in this uh, data frame. So it will become this, and the next it will become this and this. So final is this. So finally, the final result we have stored in the final df, and at then we uh, fire, fired a so command. So yeah. That's all for this particular video guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon.